These people aren't real. They're AI-generated influencers, and they have amassed massive online followings using the method I'm going to show you in this video. Some of these models are making up to 10,000 a month. It's actually insane. Let's get started. Firstly, we'll need to create our character. This can be done using an image generation tool like CART AI. Go to CART.AI. Then, go to the Explore page. There are tons of unique AI-generated faces to choose from. If you want something more specific, click on the search bar at the top and type in your desired result. Once you have your character chosen, we can move on to the next step. Now we need to gather a few images of people with similar faces and body types so that we can feed these images to the AI, then face swap them. These are the images I have chosen for example. This is important so that we can generate a convincing AI influencer in the next step. In this step, we'll be performing a face swap. There are many tools which allow you to do this such as mid-journey and deep swap. However, we'll be using a specialized Discord bot to do this. You'll need to create a private Discord server. Press add a server. Create my own. Skip this question. Then give it a name. Now we need to add the bot. Click the GitHub link in the description. Click the link to add the bot to your server. Select the server. Press Authorize. Press I am a human. I just lied. Click Go to AI. Use the slash save it command, then the name you want to call your influencer. Then drag the image of the model into the box. Now we're ready to perform the actual face swap. Type slash swap ID, then the name of your AI influencer. Drag one of your similar images into the box, then it will swap out the faces. Then simply repeat this process a few times for all the images and save them. It is very important to crop the images to a desired resolution before giving them to the AI model so that it produces images at a certain resolution. We'll be cropping all our images to 800 pixels by 800 pixels. There are various programs you can do this in like Photoshop, Paint.net, and GIMP. However, I will be using GIMP, but you can use whatever tool works best for you. In GIMP, cropping is a simple process as you can see. Now we just have to crop all our images and save them. Now we need to begin training our model. There are many tools which you can do this with like Stable Diffusion. However, Leonardo AI, an online model, is much easier to use so we'll be using that. Firstly, you'll need to click on the link in the description or my pinned comment which will take you to the Leonardo AI website. Log in or press create an account. Once you've logged in, you're going to want to go to training and datasets. Then select new dataset. Give your dataset a relevant name and a short description. Then press Create a Dataset. Now you're going to want to drag all of your previously selected images into this area so that we can train the model with them. After all the images have been uploaded, press Train Model. Provide a name for your mode. Set the training resolution to 512 by 512. Set the category to Characters. Set the base model to Stable Diffusion version 1.5. Finally, set an instance prompt, which is basically the text you'll use later on to reference your specific model. Now press Start Training. This might take some time to complete. It usually only takes a few minutes, however, this may differ for you. Now that the model has finished training, we can start using it. Click on Image Generation. This is where we'll be generating our final images. Click on the model, then click Select Other Model. Now select your model, press view, press generate with this model. Now we need to enter a prompt. Start with your model's name, followed by a brief description of what you want to generate. Press generate, make tweaks and adjustments to the prompt until you generate an image you're happy with. This may take some time. Uh, <laughs> that's good. As you can see, we've generated so beautiful results. Now all you need to do is post them to Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. 
Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.